for, uh... Hey, welcome back. We're on to episode 6, The Man Who Stole Her Ears. And I am eating fuzzy peaches. Because they are amazing. If you like them, I love you. I'm going to apologize in advance. I may skip some cutscenes if they really do not make much sense. No, don't. I like that. I like that bird. Uh, okay, I, I really like these cutscenes right now. I really like this art. Oh, this is beautiful. This is this is amazing. Help! Help! Oh no, not you. Mr. Wait, Lee, what? Your gift is one that all the world uh, desires. Let's keep it in here. No! Now, my dear, this is put on these headphones. Messed up. Hey, it's a birdie. Now the sounds you create will only twist and befoul people's emotions. He hasn't figured out he has the one ears or whatever the stolen for sound. Gross. People will turn that is mean. each other. We have literally ripped over ears and anything. Passion. But why would you steal some of the sound? Well, there's various reasons. That guy is just mean. There he is, Brian. I'm Brian. I run the place. Now that you're here, there's nothing to worry about. Please feel free to. Let's see. Now, who is the girl who was wearing the pink outfit behind Mondo? Mm. Yeah. She she's got kind of the short uh, brunette hair. I mean so? Yeah, I believe her. Yeah. It's a stray he picked up. That's why I put and his assistant. Well, at least he's got a helper, who is pretty awesome, I think. She actually failed the executioner exam. Uh, uh, she doesn't seem like someone who would be an executioner to me. She seems like someone who can, like... Does Vivian seem like an executioner to you? Well, actually, yeah. The blonde hair girl? Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she looks like a hardcore executioner. Here we are. Our music man is on the top floor. If there's anything, I'll use the radio. Hey, look at more cleavage. I'll take care of it. Does your mind ever leave that gutter? Wait. No. Didn't think so. It's, it's permanently stuck there sometimes. I like her bike though. Her bike is very nice. Yeah. It would be pretty cool if you could fight along chat her sometimes. Mm -hmm. Well, she just come in and help you out. Woo! And horde kills. That is. Sorry, it's just been so long for a horde. Oh yeah, at this point of the game, do you have any new uh, weaponry that's available to you during the first playthrough? Ah, uh, I think I might have had one. I think I might have had the freeze cannon now. You should uh, kind of show what it does. When you get the chance, of course. Let's Yep, wrong one. Right one. Alright. Freeze can, basic. This looks like a shield generator or something, or something like that. Well, I made the Whoa. dumb choice of um, hitting, uh, uh, breaking a bunch of these close range with my sword, uh -huh. and I realized that sometimes certain things explode mm -hmm. the first time through. I took quite a bit of damage from that. Alright, well, that is very understandable. Everything right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is that? Uh, an enemy that can only be killed by decapitation, I believe. Or just an amped up of the old horde enemies. This is gonna be easy. Uh, Either I like way, I like to call it dead. It's kinda alive still, though. Look, now it's dead. That mace is pretty big. 
Yes, yes it is. Oh, oh this guy's taking some pretty good hits. Well, these guys have higher defense now. Oh yeah, and some unclean block. I love how they explode in purple, it's so nice and colorful. Oh yeah, there's the second one. We got this. Uh, I just use a just guard and a uh, guard breaker. Well, that was pretty brutal. <laughs> just guard is when instead of dodging at last second, you block at hey, last second. You got a trophy. Woohoo! Bronze trophy. You were feeling so high. Insert joke. Well, actually, that was kind of some slasher joke. You see what I mean right there? I was a little too close when it exploded. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can't use the little escalator thingies over there. Look crazy darker. Oh, yeah, sure. All that. And I think I'm about to have some thingies that have range abilities. Oh, God. I, I hate when you're in combat and then stuff like this goes on. So do I. Looks like their brains are exposed. It's kind of nice. I like that flying thing though. The flying one looks pretty friendly. Look at that. It, it looks like someone will just deliver you a platter of cookies. No! You have some really random things delivering you cookies, don't you? Well, cookies are amazing, okay? I have no argument that cookies are amazing. Oh, you're hearing me. Oh my god. Let's try and... Oh, oh god. god. I get that stuck there. The thing I mentioned a lot, the regeneration ability is something that comes in handy, and everyone should waste the coin to get. Oh, there's still some stuff at the top that you can shoot. Trying to remember how I get up. Uh, no. There you go. Oops, wrong one. There, go. And there it is. Boom. Yeah. All right. Some blood. There's one more. Th I think you can maybe shoot up where you are. Behind you, yeah. Oh, okay, no, never mind. That's just a light. Destroyable items. Destroy it. Oh, Jesus. What a picky guy. They're in. And here's the help that I desperately needed. Whoa. Uh, don't you grow so many hands and arms? You have a mech uh, for uh, you have a half mech guy for boss, and you're wondering how a girl gets some extra arms? Oh well, yeah, that's, that's kind of creepy. Like, ugh. that's so weird. She, she went all the champ on everyone. You don't get that. It's I think everyone who has a vision understands what that is. Not necessarily. Ah. Well, yeah, that was kind of freaky. <laughs> well, baby, the specialty is the, uh, I think, 16 or 19 guns. I can imagine it would be 16. Who is Carla? There we go. You want blood? Mm -hmm. Well, well, I really need that blood, I think. Good enough, man. Well, I still oh, had over half my blood, so I'm pretty good. Yeah. But more blood's always good. Oh yeah, definitely. Except when you're bleeding it. Apparently some people think that's a bad idea, then. Oh yeah, I think we're really much. Bring upstairs. Sonic? Oh, okay. 
Very interesting. Oh. Uh, this is... I just remember this. Oh. I'm going to behead him. I guess I have for sure this time. Okay, thanks. Uh, I think I want to get rid of those little guys up there. They built all the, uh, marks. I mean, I think we're still that. I don't remember the name offhand right now. And I am too engrossed in combat to check. Well, temporarily slow down on the speed of those shooting at you, or make it look like it's slowed down, giving you an advantage. <laughs> oh my god. To shoot. Okay, grab that head and get oh, yeah. Now it's time to go over to the scanner. Oh yeah. This guy's really freaky. Yes, yes, he is. He's like a zombie thing. Alright. You gotta love loading screens. Yep. I like how it gives you tips at least. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I like how the loading icon's blood. It's so nice. Alright. Well, remember, this is gonna be one of the longest parts of the level. Let's see how fast we can get through it. Alright. Uh, so I'm guessing that you gotta find a way to the top. Basically. I may or may not go to all the. Um, so I probably might skip out some of them. Just for the sake of time. Yeah. And need. These little flying things took a lot of damage off. or to you. Yeah, I wasn't paying much attention to them. So. Uh, floating shield? So, oh, oh, okay, no, never mind. They're just really tall. Now, here's how I. Uh, what I mentioned earlier in the previous video that I don't like to use the drill arm. I like to just get around behind them and deal with it with the sword. I don't have room to have no preferences, really. Yeah, I'd rather focus on those guys at the moment. There you go. Another nice one shot. dealt with. And... Very nice. Uh... Jeez. Sorry, I just had to destroy a TV screen. <laughs> Don't ask why I had to. There is a... Okay, I should probably deal with whoever was shooting at me. I'm kind of... I'm starting to wonder... Oh, okay, it's that thing. I am starting to think that maybe the TV is falling in is what was hurting you. Ah, perfectly safe. You'll, you'll probably never hear that again. Perfectly safe to have a TV fall on you. Oh yeah. Gotta say, I'm almost tempted to go out and get an arm like that. It has its conveniences. That would be pretty cool though. I'd love that. But I can see it having some major drawbacks. Oh yeah, well... Everyone would be kind of... Uh, actually, yeah, probably everyone would be pretty freaked out if you had normal like that. Uh, I was thinking the fact that you would always need to go get blood for it. Yeah. And of course, the only way to get blood is to murder someone. There's other ways, I think. Very few ways that are legal. Does that have to be legal? That's lame. Well, the only other not the only other ways I can imagine is through. Uh, Putting people through paralysis and draining them of their blood. You mean you wouldn't volunteer for taking your blood if I got an arm like that? Oh god, no. Come on, I thought we were buds. I need my blood. Well, you make quite a bit of it in a day. Still! Technically, could, could he not use your own blood? Really? I guess, but that's kind of a pain, isn't it? Well, you do make more than enough every day. It's such a pain when other people can give you blood. Oh then again, I think about it, I don't even know if it runs on human blood. We're you just in that room. There's a lot of rooms that look alike in here. Oh wow. It looks like you're in, in the exact same spot. Corporations in their cookie cutter rooms, eh? Oh yeah. 
Um. Let's see. Maybe. No. Uh, I don't know where to go. Try that one, yeah. I think Scarlet's hidden in a room around here. Okay, this one's different. Now, speakers will hate each other's sound, and Whoa. boom. Scarlet! You want blood? Well, if you're oh, yeah. a good enough man, I just might transfuse some. You're free to stop by any time you want. I'll be waiting. Now we've got Blizz back to work. <sighs> so, how 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 much fire do you have to get to go all the way to the top? Mm, considering the way the boss battle is, a bit away. Oh god! It goes by fast though. Um, so in this part you just have to find the right door, or what's going on, really? I really don't remember. I know I'm trying to find my way to the one guy, and when I finally find him, I won't understand a thing he's saying. Looks like this is where you're supposed to go. Oh yeah. 